Nico got hit some big shots, and um, I think Buddy Hill hit a big shot. Guys really stepped up tonight, and uh, Campaign came in and hit a big shot. I know, you know, Nico was probably you know the star tonight, but Campaign being ready, not playing the whole first half, and coming in and banging the big three at the end of the third quarter, that was huge as well. So Paul Reed played good as well. So I mean, everybody who played had put an imprint on the game. Just to that point about the zone, why do you think you guys got so bogged down in the first half? We missed shots. We missed easy layups. Um, and then we turned the ball over. I mean, like our our defense, our half court defense is really good. You know, I think Jimmy and and, and Tyler they they struggled against our half court defense. But you know, it's hard to it's hard to contain layups and, and dunks. Uh, you know, one on no fast break. So you now we got can't turn the ball over in the zone, and then we just got stagnant. You know, we got stagnant. And Nurse just talked about that as well. Is you know we got to trust trust our stuff and get to where we got to get to. What are your impressions of this Nick team and, and the year that Brunson had? Right, uh, they're tough, you know, and like you said, they start with at the head of the snake at Jalen Brunson. Uh, we got to find ways to slow him down, but uh, thankfully we got a we got a few people that we can kind of throw at them. You know, we got Joel down there protecting us, but uh, they're they're an extremely grimy team. Like they they play hard, they're physical, they're tough, and uh, that's their identity. So uh, for us to go in there and try to get W's and try to win this series, we have to match that, and uh, not just match it, but we have to. You know, overcome that and be better than that, and, and be extremely physical as well. So, I think uh, we know what we have to do, and uh, you know, they kicked our tail in the regular season. So, it's time to go in there and fight. You mentioned that, you mentioned that zone kind of was focused on taking away you and Joe, and is that kind of a message at halftime, like, either from you and Joe or the coaches to like Batum and Buddy that hey, they're leaving you guys open from three because they're trying to take away us. Like, don't be afraid to shoot, let it fly. Yeah, uh, Joel was getting on Buddy, just telling him like, you know, this is kind of one of his first experience, like playoffs, or whatever. But he was like, man, just shoot the ball. Like, we know what you can do. That's what you're here for. You know, shoot the ball. And it was just another thing was on me. Like, I'm just at the top. I'm just being passive and passing around. But uh, you know, Nurse and Campaign and a couple guys on the bench just told me like, look, just drive it in there and, and kick it out. And it, it worked a couple times. You know, I drove in there and got a, a few assists and some guys hit some threes, made some shots. Uh, Campaign, Buddy, and uh, Nico. So. Um, it was good for us. Then in the fourth quarter, Joel got the nail, and he made some plays and scored some buckets and got some fouls, got some man ones, and it was good. What did Joel say? Experience is, is still fresh for you, playing in the play-in tournament and winning this game. You played in some tense situations yeah. in your career, but where does the emotions of, of what you just experienced sort of match up with the rest? You know what? It's, it's, it's a weird feeling because it's not like a, a winner go home. Cause like you know like Miami will have another game, you know what I'm saying? So it's just weird because like you don't want to play another game. You want to solidify your spot in the in the playoffs. So uh, it felt like I don't know, if, but it, it still felt like a game seven. Like if I've been in multiple of those, so the atmosphere was great, fans were great, and uh, you know we appreciate all the fans. We appreciate all the you know the organization that came out, and it was good for us. What did Joel say to you? He was tapping on your your chest at the end of the game. What was he saying? Yeah, he kept doing over and over. Uh, he was saying good game. <laughs> you were just saying good game. At the end, I'm like, dude, get out of the way, bro. I'm trying to get the ball. But, you know, that's, that's a testimony to both of our, like, uh, our mentality. We were both trying to go get the ball just in case they fouled, just in case anything happened. And uh, we were both running to it. And uh, he dang near took the ball for me. I'm like, listen, it's okay. We got it. But uh, he said some, some other words, too. So. <laughs> Obviously, gave you the scoring spark tonight, but just can you speak to his impact throughout the whole season? Just all the little things he does, the leadership and the impact he's had just for all year. Yeah, I just said it to I think NBA TV that um, he's guarded from the like small guys in the NBA, like Trey Young, to the tallest man in the NBA in Wimby. So like, let's really think about that. Like, his defensive versatility is is, is second to none. Tonight he guarded Hero, he guarded Butler, he guarded Bam Adebayo at times. Like. What he's done for this team is is it's been remarkable, and uh, we appreciate him. You know, we're gonna need him down the stretch, and uh, he's a big part of what, we, what we're trying to do. And tonight, you know, he had some big shots. You know, Joel's always on him about shooting threes, and he shot some big threes tonight and made them. So we appreciate Nico. Since you guys are the top free throw shooting teams in the NBA, can you talk about what kind of a weapon that is in the playoffs? You said free throws. Free throws at the level you guys do. <laughs> you know. We, we, we work on free throws every single day, so that's that's one thing. And then we have very competitive guys. Um, so it's like we look at our free throw percentages all the time, so we get to the tech while the while. So, like, we practice on free throws. We, you know, being competitive, that helps us at the end of games. Uh, we know we have multiple guys that are confident enough to go up there and step down and knock down two. So uh, that's been great for us as well. Sorry, it took you a little longer tonight to get success. Today, 
it took you guys a little longer tonight to find success against the zone defense than it did when you guys played against Miami two weeks ago. I guess what did you see that was sort of different from the way they were the formation, their alignment, where they were paying, you know, pressing you more? Yeah, it was it was the formation. I mean, we we struggled in it with it down there, honestly. Like, you know, it was up big. It was up big when they were in man. Like, we know what we can run in there, man. So it's like, once we figured it out, though, like we had to settle in and kind of figure out how we're going to get the ball to who we need to get the ball to, how we're going to score, what spots do we need to be in. And then once we do that, uh, it's great. I think it kind of shocked us. They went to it like very early, you know, this time. They didn't go to it that early last time. They kind of they played man for an extended period of time. But uh, they went to it early, and, uh, you know, that's a testimony to our man offense. I feel like it's, it's extremely difficult to guard us and, and you know, just straight man-to-man 